Good morning. This is Lawn Serve Joe, Reliable Lawn Care, Southeast Minnesota. Well, it had to happen sometime. Our first significant snowfall of the season. Started out as a winter weather advisory, but I know better than that. This is Winona County. Seems like every time it's uh, supposed to snow here, and we're supposed to get a certain amount of inches, you can almost add 30% more to that because it seems like we're in the bullseye. It seems like every time it snows. I've got my truck here. I've got my plow set up. I'll uh, be getting in it in a few minutes. Going out and doing some parking lots I do. I'd rather take off four inches at a time, come back later and get the other four or five later than try to push all the snow all at once. I won't be able to sleep now till I'm done with all my work for this storm anyway, so I'm not gonna sit in the house and try to fall asleep. I might as well just get out there and get working. I do have a question though. You know, in the summertime, they can say a 30% chance of rain. You'll never see a cloud. It seems like in the winter time, 30% chance of snow and it's gonna snow. So somebody figure that one out for me and uh, get back to me on that. Well, I'm going to finish cleaning the truck off and get in where it's warm in the cab and go do some parking lots. So next time I talk to you, hopefully I'll be in the truck and I'll be pushing snow. Guys, you notice I'm hitting the end of this parking lot right here. Lifting my blade up about two inches and I'm continuing, oh, a good two lengths of the truck into the yard here. Uh, the reason that is, is you uh, better push the snow your first couple snows quite a ways because if you push it right to the end of the parking lot, you're kind of limiting yourself where you can put your next snowfall or the snowfalls in January. Because, well, this is Minnesota and this shit ain't gonna melt until we either get a super, super warm spell or the end of March, one or the other. This stuff isn't gonna go anywhere in a week or two. So you gotta push it far enough to manage your next snowstorm. And if you have to bring it out, like I said, two truck lengths into a yard, you do it. Because what will happen is, this snow will sit in a pile, it'll settle, and then the sun will get at it a little bit, and it might warm up a little bit, melt a little bit, and then freeze. If you leave a big pile of snow at the end of a parking lot, and it freezes, you might as well have a, a pile of rocks there that you can't move. And then you'd have to hire somebody to come in with a front end loader and <laughs> move the snow out of the area or push it farther for you. So I eliminate that problem on the few parking lots I do. I just push the snow two truck lengths off the edge. Of course, you have to have the room to do it. This church I'm plowing right now, actually, um, the people that run the church live right next door so if I push the snow up onto their property they don't care the good thing about this year is we had a couple well two good cold weeks so the grounds frozen when the grounds frozen you can drop that blade right on that right on that grass and it'll it won't go anywhere that grass is stuck if it was just our first snow and it's been above freezing the whole time well you have to lift it because it'd be a side cutter 
plow it, dig right into the grass, and you pull the grass up. In the spring, you'd have a big pile of grass sitting there, sod, and then you'd have to either replace it or put it back where it belongs. I've done that before. I've gone back in the spring and grabbed the rolls of sod and put them back where they belong. Sometimes that's the only choice you have. Hello, this is Lawn Serve Joe. I uh, finished up my snow removal for the day. Well, I started out about three o'clock this morning, did a few parking lots, came home. Then I uh, went back out about seven, did those parking lots again, and went on my regular route and picked up my helper. And it's about 5.30 in the evening now and finished up. So now I'm at home and forgot to turn the timer on, the Christmas lights, so I did that. And, well, Here's a view of my house anyways, anybody who wants, cares to know. Uh, I used to hang lights up at the top, but I had a sore foot the last few weeks and I didn't want to climb the ladder, so I bought this kaleidoscope light instead. And uh, I got my countdown clock there, days till Christmas, minutes, hours, and I got my lollipop lights. I've had those out here for, oh, I bet I've had them out here for six, seven years now, and a lot of people like them. Actually, a little guy came up to him last night, and he wanted to lick one. He thought they were real, <laughs> but they're not. They're, they're plastic, of course, and they got the LED lights in them that change colors. And, uh, well, this is what it looks like up here in Minnesota after you get a fresh snowfall in December. So uh, I would rather see the sunshine and blue sky and green grass but that doesn't happen up here at this time of year so for all you guys in the south that wish you could come up here for a weekend and just enjoy this you know and not have to work in it it's it's okay it's just the working part that's kind of tough so uh, I'm gonna go in the house and get some dinner maybe the Packers are still on I don't know and uh, I'm gonna make another vlog and well whenever it snows again or I've got something to say. Until then, this is Long Serve Joe, Southeast Minnesota. You guys have a wonderful Christmas.